my name is Rose Hatmaker. I graduated from Thomas More in 2002 with a degree in art and art history. My work is part of the Art at Thomas More Initiative, and today's feature piece is a portrait commissioned by Professor James Camp. This portrait of Mediano Zapata is mounted for all of you at the stairwell between the first and second levels of the academic building. Here is Professor Camp with an explanation of the inspiration for this portrait. Hi, my name is uh, James Camp. I am a professor of sociology at Thomas More University. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the uh, painting that is behind me. This particular painting was inspired by the Mexican-U.S. Border Studies program that I have directed since its inception in 2000. Uh, that is an ongoing program where we take students to the U.S.-Mexico border to uh, explore issues of social justice, Catholic social teaching, uh, migration issues in particular. And the relationship of that program to this particular painting uh, has to go back in Mexican history. During the Mexican um, Revolution in 1910, it went from 1910 to 1920, Emiliano Zapata, who this uh, painting is of, um, led the forces in the southern part of the nation during that revolutionary decade. He uh, particularly is known uh, and is uh, in an iconic figure, actually, in Mexican history uh, as a champion for the poor, a champion for the campesinos, the los pobres, uh, the, the farmers, the poor uh, in Mexico. Uh, his advocacy, his work during that uh, revolution, his um, support for the poor led to a change in the Mexican Constitution, uh, which exists still to this day, Article 27 in particular, establish what are called ejidos, which are basically communal lands where the poor can farm, use that, uh, uh, that resource uh, to help sustain themselves. Prior to uh, Emiliano Zapata's intervention, there were uh, what were called haciendas, the hacienda system. So the rich basically um, benefited from the labor of the poor. Uh, during that revolution, again, they established Article 27, and still to this day, they have uh, the ejido system in place in Mexico where the poor can live off communal lands and live like they've li literally lived for centuries. He stands as a figure and icon for social justice, particularly in Mexico, but in other places as well, and is central to uh, some of our discussions in the Border Studies program as we start to look at the relationship of people's rights to land, uh, their rights to, to migrate, uh, to make a living, uh, and he stands as, as an icon for uh, much of the spirit of that particular program. I'm so happy uh, that Rose Hatmaker, um, long ago in 2000, if I'm not mistaken, 2002, uh, painted this for uh, Thomas More. I commissioned that uh, painting from her uh, based on a photo that still is on my office door to this day. After being out of school for 30 years, my children urged me to go back to school. They felt my art would benefit from to increase knowledge. While at Thomas More, I collaborated with Jenny Ood to do a piece of art for a flyer. This was done for Judd Newborn, a New York-based scholar, journalist, and lecturer who was lecturing at Thomas More at the time. He was given this piece after that, and a few years later, he uh, asked our commission to put it in the Jewish journal for the study of Jew Jewish students. The art was based on the leaflets that were circulated by the White Rose followers during the World War II in Germany. These leaflets let people know what was going on there at the time. There were young people and were executed for doing this. Mayor Charlene Fardo, executive assistant to the president of Thomas More, commissioned me to do a portrait of Senior Margaret Salma, who was the president of Thomas More in 2013. Four years later, she also commissioned me to do another one other presidents, which is Dave Armstrong. I did many portraits after college. Some were paintings and some were charcoal drawings. My first commission, however, was done for James Camp. It was a six foot by four foot black and white painting. Since this was a large frame and very difficult to find, it had to be built. My husband volunteered, Everett Hatmaker, did this for me. He did a great job. He, along with my friends, Jenny Ood, Paula, and I, stretched the canvas for the frame. Once this was done, I was able to do the painting. It now hangs at Thomas More University.